Greetings, this is Rob Prony, and this is a, a little video to help you to build your uh, persistence of vision device. We're going to look at uh, what you need to do in KiCAD here today. If you look on uh, the wiki, there's this new section that I put in here uh, on um, on what you need to do in uh, uh, starting up here, getting started with KiCAD here, and it talks about setting things up here. And I'm just going to start KiCAD here with the copy and pasting this stuff here into a terminal, <coughs> and we'll uh, kind of go through the uh, the process here. So, okay, we're going to start KiCAD, and uh, this is my persistence of vision uh, project here. Uh, the one I'm going to open here is this version right here, and this is an EE schema. You guys already have this done pretty much. want to make sure that you uh, do an error check here, test for errors. There are no errors, so we can close this. Then you go up here to build a generate a net list. Just say net list right there, and you can save it. And... Uh, uh, and then you can uh, go into uh, CVPCB, which is where you associate the footprints. Let's do that. Here we are in uh, starting up CVPCB. It takes a little bit to load the uh, libraries here. Mine are already associated. You will have blanks in, in this area of your page right here, and your job is to, to find those things. These are the libraries over here on the left, and uh, the Aerodyne V2 library, you need to put that in. First of all, you need to download that from the uh, um, from the wiki. There's a link on the wiki. Here it is right here, Aerotine v 2pretty You need to download that and you can put it in your uh, working directory. And once you have that downloaded, you need to go and modify the library tables. Here's the library tables. If you do it here in the global libraries, this will be for all projects, but if you just want it for this project, you can put it in here. So you need to give it a nickname, and it's aerodyne underscore v2, and then you put in this, this environment variable, dollar sign uh, um, braces here means evaluate that environment variable, and the environment variable is ki proj mod, which you can see down here is the, the directory in which your project is. So I put ki proj mod and I just saved that or unzipped that directory uh, or untarred that directory into the the uh, directory where I have my project. And you need to check this uh, plugin type. It has to be ki cad, not any of these other ones here. If it, if it was an old legacy library like it was before I mo modified it to the pretty type, you would have used this. But ki cad is what you want now. So then you, know, you can say okay. And then when you go into Aerodyne, you'll find the things over here that you need. Like, for example, um, there's these uh, these batteries, um, um, Aerodyne here. And you want to find the batteries, the, the V2, BAT 3A, the BK92, with the th 3 or either 2. If you have two batteries, use this one. If you have three batteries, use that one. All the other small parts are SMD packages, SM0805, and SMD packages is over here in, in this section right here. And um, then the, these other special packages, except for the pin headers, if you have pin headers in your design, um, those are under the pin headers package. But these ones that say Aerodyne, that will tell you... Uh, um, where they are. So you can look at this as the library, which is over here, and these are the, uh, the package uh, type right here. You can also look at the, uh, at the package type by, by clicking uh, this one right here, View Selected uh, Footprint. I don't have one selected over here. You know, if I selected something, I could select that, and you could look at that you know, with this, and so there's that kind of battery there. But, <coughs> and you can also uh, look at it in 3D as well, uh, uh, I think here. Um, I can remember how to do that. 
maybe it's under when you click this then you can select 3D yeah 3D display so yeah, you can look at it here's the 3D model <coughs> so um, you need to s get all these things associated here once you're all associated and by the way I should mention that these filters right here are kind of important here um, this one filters by the number of pins and this one filters by the library so um, it's it's kind of uh, handy to filter by the number of pins um, and or just the library here we are in the library and you can see that there are these 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 components that I put here I often just do this and kind of look through all these things for what I'm looking for so once you're all done here then you need to save that that's that's this thing right here you save it and then we have to go back to EE schema so let's uh, flip back to EE schema here and in EE schema you need to start PCB new this is the, how you start PCB new right here and so I already have mine all designed here but what will happen you'll end up with a blank black page here the first thing you need to do is go in and you need to import this DXF file the outline file and that outline file is on the wiki that's this yellow thing you see on the outside that's everything you're in your board has to fit inside that and and so then after you've done that you will uh, go up here to the net list thing and you'll read the net list and you you know read the current net list here and you'll get a bunch of messages down here in the message can um, window and you need to check those and make sure there's no errors once you've read those in all your parts um, all your parts will be kind of piled up right in the middle here and you'll need to move them over here onto your board I would try and keep the uh, the capacitors for the bypass capacitors close to like this one right here is for that chip it's close to that chip so you want to kind of do that here's a, a bypass capacitor for this chip and there's a couple more over here for this chip here actually I guess both of these guys were for that chip and, and I've got some other ones for the voltage regulator over here there's a couple bypass capacitors and here's the voltage regulator you're trying to keep them close uh, so uh, those are some things then you want to make sure you put the uh, um, put the uh, some parts on the back and some parts on the front you can look on the 3d viewer here and if I uh, show you here's my board um, this is the the front side and here's the back side I've got my batteries and and um, and uh, some some headers on the back side of the board here so uh, you need to make sure and put it on the right the correct side so uh, you put those uh, those um, components all on there once you've got them all arranged on there the way you like and make sure you do your LEDs in an organized fashion here with even spacing if you notice here these are evenly spaced out on the on the grid you can set the grid up here to what you want and that will help you put them on an even spacing and once you've got them on there you'll have all this rat's nest of, of white little lines that show where the wires go and you try and make those things so they don't cross as much as possible but there'll be plenty of crossing no matter what you do then you go up here to this guy right here which says uh, uh, uses a, um, a web-based uh, free router and you need to export your uh, your oops before we do this I guess before we do this we need to set the design rules so let's cancel out of that and set the design rules you need to set the design rules right here and you need to put a 0 .008 here and a 0 .008 here and be in inches over here and on the global design rules you need a 0 .008 there I think these default to 0 .01 or something so you need to change it so it's a smaller trace but then you go to to this guy, which you can uh, say save uh, your um, your your design session, export spectra session right here. You click on this guy, and then you can save it there, and uh, and then you want to launch the free router here, and it'll launch uh, in uh, Java, and uh, eventually it uh, it gets done and pops up a little window. <coughs> and that's what you're going to use you're going to open your design file here and uh, it's going to ask you to for allow disk access on your 
on your uh, on your disk there and you want to say yes and then you got to go find where you saved your design file and I let's see if I can find mine here probably yeah right here it's the .dsn file so you open that and then this takes a little while to load and so you kind of wait uh, for quite a while for this to load and then what you're going to do is you're going to need to set up the auto router preferences so that it, it doesn't uh, it, it doesn't really prefer to uh, get rid of vias. We would rather have a lot of vias than have y um, a traces looping around stuff um, and making extra long traces so we need to change the uh, the weighting on the algorithm for the uh, for the auto router to to do what we want it to do there and, and give it less weight for the vias and make them less expensive and uh, so here we are this is the you know you can see the rat's nest here this thing isn't routed in this this case right here and <coughs> um, what we want to do is we want to go and change the auto route parameters right here you go into detailed parameters you got to change this 50 to an 8 and you hit return there and then you can just kind of close this and close that and you'll select the auto router and it'll start uh, start routing the uh, the board here and you can see it making traces and stuff it's kind of fun to watch and uh, so it'll go through its uh, its uh, um, algorithm there and come up with uh, hopefully a routed board and uh, eventually it'll say down here it's done once it says it's done then you need to go over here to the file and you need to export spectra session right there uh, so I've done this before and I'll let this fiddle around here I really don't care if it's uh, routing my board again um, I, I'm going to just quit here, cancel and exit because I've already routed mine but <coughs> then you would go back over here and back import the spectra session because over there you saved a spectra session here's the uh, you know thing, I don't want to back import that right now because I already did this and, and I would lose uh, some of my work if I did that so you're going you're gonna to back import that and uh, and uh, we can get rid of the uh, the uh, f quick access to the free router now and then you're going to go over here to uh, to this uh, add build zones and uh, then you'll you'll click on your board somewhere and you want to fill with ground plane you, know, you might want to look at your board and make sure everything looks good at this point too which I'll always be checking it but the next thing is to put the ground plane in and so you'd select this and and uh, then you basically put an outline around the board you know I mean I could do one right here maybe this was my board right here and and now that's a ground plane and if I then I'm gonna click here um, uh, fill or refill all zones and you know this didn't fill anything because there's no grounds in there for it to connect to but you know if it was down here you can see this green here that filled okay so I'm going to uh, now just get rid of this because I really didn't want that there but I was just showing you so um, and I need to delete this delete block boom there it goes okay so <coughs> after you've done that and your board looks really good you might want to look at it in the uh, 3d viewer and you know carefully inspect it then you go over here to uh, the file menu and you plot and you need to select all these things there's a uh, there's a picture on FWeb showing you this and then you uh, basically plot and you generate the drill files and then you close and uh, then you need to uh, compress your whole directory tar it all up and, and put it on D2L so that we can send this these off to uh, to get manufactured they should be back in a couple weeks. So let me make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look right here. This is where we're just going through all these things that we did here. And uh, hopefully uh, I didn't miss anything major. And if I did, well, you'll find out in class. So hopefully this is helpful. I'm going to stop the video now.